Those are the seven heavenly ways to make money in this market right now. But they can turn into seven deadly sins if you're not careful. The reopening trade, that's hostage to the pandemic. We could get a load of new cases, especially this new South African strain, more resistant to the vaccines. I think we'll be able to get COVID under control, but we've been wrong about that before. Plus, if the stimulus bill fails, the retailers, they're going to take a hit. Housing. As the economy improves and rates go higher, still a long way, long way away, the housing bull market will get hurt. That's inevitable. Could take years to become a problem, could take a year. Theme three, the industrials. Look, these stocks only work if employment picks up and business quickly snaps back. If the recovery folders, they are insanely expensive on a price-to-earnings multiple basis. Energy. It sure looks good now, but that's because OPEC's being disciplined. Eventually, prices will get high enough that the Saudis will stop limiting production. And when that happens, oil producers will get hammered. Crude's at 58. Wouldn't surprise me if the Saudis open the tap at 60. Theme five, the banks. Oh, they're great as rates don't, you know, as rates kind of go higher, but not too high, because that puts real pressure downward on loan demand. Again, we're not there yet, but that's an inevitable part of the business cycle. Six, what happens to all these new stock pickers when they run out of good targets? There are only so many game stocks to go around prime for short squeeze. Without better clearing systems, a lot of Murray men could get hurt. Finally, the seventh and by far the most deadly sin. All these companies with no earnings that are being pitched on the basis of revenue projections, including the SPACs, many of these stocks are exciting. And they all seem to have a mission. But in recent months, we've seen more and more what I call celebrity SPACs. And the whole thing feels excessive. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. There will come a tipping point where we start getting glutted with low-quality SPACs, and the whole group collapses under its own weight. Again, we're not there yet. The bottom line, for now, we're in the clear. But you need to watch these seven themes like a hawk, because eventually they'll turn ugly. Might take months, might take years. Either way, you don't want to stick around when this side of the page happens. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.